yeah, some people are naturally born with more creativity. Sure. But I think creativity follows commitment mm -hmm. more than anything. Yeah. What's up guys, this is Nehemiah Peterson here and today we've got a really special guest, one of my mentors and friends, Greg Gross. Thanks for coming on, man. Yeah, dude, it's an honor. I love what you're doing and the value that you're adding to others. So cool, man, thanks. So today we're gonna be talking about um, one of Greg's uh, life mottos and something that he just lives by. <laughs> and uh, it's really inspirational to me as well as I know a lot of other people that he's discussed it with. I um, mean, I just thought it'd be really valuable to talk about it here on the channel. So Greg, you wanna go over what that is and where it started? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so just to start off, the, the word, the motto that I use is never walk. You know, the simplicity of what it means is never give up, keep going, persevere. Mm -hmm. And so where it was birthed from though, uh, yeah, go back in, in time a little bit. Okay. So uh, I'm the youngest of three siblings. I have an older sister, brother and then me and so um i was a lot closer in age with my brother and so he's someone i always looked up to sure and we were both wrestlers hence why you know there you go I'm, we're yeah. wrestling uh totally today <laughs> um but we i was training he was pushing me in middle school uh he was about four grades ahead of me sure and it was this, just one i think it was the summertime and there there's a track near our house and you have to be conditioned as a wrestler. So we went down to that track and he would yell and scream at me. I was running around the track, everything like that. Right. And there was a point during that training on that day where I could hear him. And when I got back around, he said, hey, no matter what you do, never walk. Okay, I don't care if it, if it looks like a walk, but you keep up some type of a pace, some type of a run, right. never walk, keep going, don't give up because it's just like a mentality. It was like, it was a motivator. It's just a simple, maybe at that, at that point in time, he never knew it would grow into something like this or at sure. least inside of me, mm -hmm. but it, it did because yeah. now, oh my goodness, how many years ago was that? I mean, that was like 2001, 2002. Sure. So was that 18 years now? It has fully grown into something like a brand that I... I love speaking into other students, other people, and motivating them um, towards their goals and dreams. Awesome, so, man. Yeah. That's really cool. Now, as somebody who's trying to adapt, never walk to their lives, mm -hmm. maybe it's like starting a dream or a business or yeah. even just trying to get healthy or something like that. Yeah. How would you say you can apply never walk to your life? Yeah, I mean, the opportunities I get right now really to share with people is I, I'm big on um, helping students. I'm in the schools and different things. And okay. so how that started the birth more is I get to motivationally speak to sports teams and I got little wristbands that I give the students sure. that never walk on it. Um, I attached it to a, a verse in the Bible, Hebrews 12, 1. So sure. run the race with perseverance that's marked out for you. Okay. And so it's, that's where the perseverance part comes. Like okay. just keep going, like right. persevere through these situations. So I would say it's not like how to apply it to certain goals and dreams. I think it's, more part of a formula. Okay. So I think there's a formula when it comes to getting to your dreams and goals. Okay. And so I'll start yeah. off by saying this. I think dreams and goals are two different things. Sure. Now I think most people would admit that, but too often we use the word dreams and goals as the same word. Right. But correct me if I'm wrong, those are two different words in the dictionary. Going oh yeah, back to definitely. Dictionary. So I believe never walk is a part of the formula, again, to make your dreams and goals come true. So let me explain. So a dream, in my mind, is more of a thought that you envision. Sure. But a goal is something that you tangibly achieve. Yeah, yeah. So how do we get to a goal? That's kind of the formula. I believe never walk is in the formula how to get to a goal, not necessarily okay. a dream. So I kind of look at it this way. To get to a goal, it starts with a dream. Sure. You've got to envision it. You mm -hmm. gotta see it. Yeah. After you envision it and see it, then you write it down. Mm -hmm. So that's the second step. Dream it, envision it, it's the first step. Then you write it down. Yeah. Because I'm a firm believer that people that write down their goals and dreams actually accomplish them 70% more than those that don't. Okay. I like those um, odds. I mean, right, yeah. Most people do, so write them down. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so you dream it, you envision it, you write it down. Now we take massive action. Yeah. Okay. Massive consistent action, not like this pity, you know, type of stuff. No, right. like you got to take massive consistent action towards that goal mm -hmm. if you really want to achieve it. Yeah. And then the last part to achieving a goal, that's where never walk comes in. Okay. That's where you keep going. That's where you persevere. That's where you don't give up. Okay. So you dream it, you write it down, 
take massive consistent action, and then you never walk. That's awesome. I love that, man. Yeah. So my second question for you would be, maybe if somebody has like fallen off, maybe their dream has started, but then they like stop doing it, or they've lost that consistency or that motivation, or they're getting discouraged or something like that. Yeah. Um, how would you say you could apply the never walk mentality to that situation? And what does that look like? Well, first of all, that should never happen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yes, we tend to lose motivation. Mm -hmm. So I'll just start with that piece, the motivation and falling off. I'm a firm believer that motive, the best type of motivation comes from within. Sure. So obviously I consider myself a motivator and I love coaching people and, and different things like that. And I think to start off by getting a motivation, it's good maybe to get fired up from somebody. and mm -hmm. But really, if someone's always having to scream in your face until they're blue in their face, it's not really beneficial sure. to them or you. Mm -hmm. So I'm a believer that true motivation needs to come from within. Okay. So you need to go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. Why in the world did you start that in the first place? Okay, what was yeah. your why? What was your what was that big thing that empowered you, that, that, that made you so passionate about starting whatever you wanted to start or achieve in the first place? And if you don't have a big why, attached to your goal, you're going to fail mm -hmm. every time. And now there's a difference between failing your way to success because you do that, but like just failing and giving up, which right. you're not never walking then because you're giving up. So I would tell somebody like, go back to your big why. What did you write down in the first place? Is it big enough? If it's not, dig deeper. Dig deeper into that big why. Allow that to motivate you right. because true motivation comes from within mm -hmm. or and then continue to write it down, look at it, and boom, make it happen. Sweet. If you had to give like one little tidbit in regards to how this could impact somebody creatively, what would you say? Yeah, something I heard not too long ago that really resonated with me is um, if someone is, let's say, like you said, like in a, or maybe they're in a creative slump, mm -hmm. you know, um, I'm at a place where I feel like, yeah, some people are naturally born with more creativity. Sure. But I think creativity follows commitment mm -hmm. more than anything. Yeah. Like if you feel like you're not creative or you can't think of certain things and, and then that turns into lack of motivation, everything like that. Well, creative, creativity follows commitment. Yeah. So check your commitment level. Mm -hmm. You know, as you are seeing how committed you are to something, like you, you don't need all the details. Right. You know, Creativity will follow. So like I, commitment activates creativity. So just start doing things. Just yeah. start going after it. You don't need every detail to figure it out sometimes. But as you're going, as you're moving, as you're committed, I, at least I know in my own life, the, cre the creative juices start yeah, yeah. to flow. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And it's because it's that power of commitment and consistency that creates creativity. So. Awesome. That's really cool. I like that. I really like, I'm not even doing this for the camera. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> that was really cool, man. Yeah. My last question for you is this. Um, what are some disciplines or regiments that you have done that have helped you stay committed in the never walk mentality for your life? Yeah, that's, that's a good one. I, I think it's easy f for me to just briefly share the last thing Okay. I, I've done in doing consistently. Um, so I just got done with this program called 75 hard, um, a big influencer over social media, put this out and it's, it's a program to help what, uh, what 75 hard purpose is, is to help you become more mentally tough, okay. mental toughness, grit, fortitude, self-confidence. And the reason I did that program was for two main things mental toughness, because I'm training to run 30 miles at the end of May Okay. Um, for a non-for-profit to help boys and girls out of sex trafficking. That's awesome. And um, and so the running 30 miles more than anything is mental toughness. Right. And then self-confidence, mm -hmm. because, oh my goodness, I've become a firm believer that confidence is, is key mm -hmm. to anything that you're doing. Yeah. And so when it comes to going back to never walk, this is what helps me is never walk is really a mindset again. It's a mentality. It's, right. it's, it's, it's almost like a l lifestyle. If I'm going to wake up every morning with this mindset, with this mentality of persevering, um, it has to attach to right here because this right. is the most powerful thing that you use every single day. Definitely. And if you don't use it just like anything else, you lose it. Right. And so with the 75 hard program, 
I mean, there's things I had to do. There are disciplines, five things I had to do every single day. Like for instance, you know, drinking a gallon of water, reading, uh, sticking to a healthy diet, working out two times a day, 45 mm-hmm. minutes a piece, yeah. taking, um, taking a picture, which wasn't that mentally tough, but it, it was just the consistency. So right. never walk. Obviously I attached it to the 75 hard program. Yeah. I'm not going to give up. Right. I had to do something, those five things every day for 75 days straight. Mm-hmm. Or I had to start over from day one. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, and I just completed that um, at the beginning of February. Sure. And then, but I'm still, there's more. There's other phases that um, yeah. I'm going to try to complete over this next year. But I guess you you have to attach it. Mm-hmm. You have to attach it as a motivator, as a mindset, as a mentality. Yeah. And um, to help you persevere. Cool, man. Sounds good. So would you say like maybe like adding actual disciplines like maybe something that like puts you in towards your goal is something that has like helped you with that consistency like pushing yourself into like a program like that like that's gonna help you like actually achieve the goal of mental toughness is like forcing yourself to do something about it if that makes sense yeah because at the end of the day the best commitment you can keep is to yourself Mm -hmm. if you if you can't keep commitments to yourself, which by the way, I believe that's a great formula to, to gain confidence. Yeah. Like for instance, if you tell yourself the night before, you're like, I'm going to get up tomorrow and I'm going to go run three miles. Right. And you get up the next morning and you don't do it. Mm-hmm. Well, you just gave yourself less confidence mm-hmm. and because you, you, you probably didn't do it because you use an excuse. Right. And so if you can start to become a person Start here. You like that word, start. (laughs) Yes. Um, (laughs) Start with, hey, I'm going to keep commitments to myself. Sure. I'm going to pursue. I'm going to make sure. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to make excuses. I'm going to keep commitments to myself. In return, that's going to build confidence. In return, hopefully that will allow you to keep commitments to other people. Because, like, again, if you can't keep a commitment to yourself, how are you going to keep commitments to other people? Right. So, um, did, did that? Answer yeah. Your question? Yeah, that totally I makes no sense. Yeah, man. I hope so. Yeah. No, that was awesome. <laughs> cool. Well, Greg, thank you so much for coming on. It was awesome talking with you. Yeah. I mean, um, Greg has been one of my greatest mentors. Uh, used to be my youth pastor. Um, now we're close friends and accountability yeah. partners, and yeah. um, it's just really an honor to have you on my new YouTube channel. Yeah, dude. Um, so, if we want to find you on social media or wherever, what what can we do to find you? Yeah, if you desire to find me, which um, that'd be sweet, um, <laughs> I would say I'm almost on every platform. So Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, you better believe it. Um, <laughs> Greg underscore gross, G R E G underscore gross. And then Facebook, it's my full name, Gregory Lee Gross. And then I just launched in been branding Team Never Walk. And so that's just a platform on Facebook right now. You can just search Team Never Walk, and I just try to add value on there, motivate people, um, just trying to build awareness and help people reach their goals through that platform. And I hope to um, start a podcast soon Sweet. called Team Never Walk. So All right. for the, by the end of 2020, and um, writing a book called Never Walk Too. That'll be out in a couple of years. So. Just be looking for a lot and never walk. All right. So Yeah, guys, be on the lookout. Greg, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for the opportunity. All right. Thanks, guys. Cool. That was awesome.